Good evening, folks. I uh, came on here to make you read the night, basically. To give Julie an apology for a start. Julie Cooper down in Stockton, the Don's War Museum, uh, the Veterans Hub, down at Stockton on Tees. And there's old Tommy getting buried tomorrow, Tommy Trotter. And even up to the day I've been postponing it, postponing it, but saying I'll make it, I'll make it. Just done a COVID test before I came out there, guys, and it was negative. But I will say this, from Thursday night I went down like a ton of bricks. It was horrific. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, it wasn't nice. You can feel like the wash. I lost a good bit of weight after putting it all back on. Wow, that was brutal, guys, at the weekend. I don't know what it was. It must have been a bug, something, but that was brutal. And, uh, yeah, happy and glad to get and get a bit of fresh air again, like tonight, but I've not been up the whole weekend. Uh, secondly, an apology to my pal, so Jock, massive apology, and I'll get back on top of my personal issues again tomorrow. Just give us a next day or something to get back in. Back into the loop, guys, because uh, that was horrific. Felt like pneumonia, I've had pneumonia, and that's what I felt like. Didn't really think it was COVID, I didn't, but it felt like, oh, I felt like a touch of pneumonia. And I was saving myself and going to the hospital. The usual, I put everything at the, at the last moment. I don't want to accept facts at times, but uh, I went down like a ton of bricks, as we call it. And so, so jock. Got boxes behind my door and everything name posted here, there, everywhere, guys. And uh, I've got to be present for my mate, a uh, bottle of whiskey and all the rest of it. Get it down to them before I go away. And um, hopefully that will stay the same for the first May with Julie. Don't uh, stop in. Blue, I see you, mate. Get your ball. Get your ball. Get your ball. Fetch. Fetch your ball. Go on. Fetch it. So, so jocks the channel bounced up, guys. Apologies to you, mate. I'll we'll sort out the next day or two when I get myself back thriving. And he's got a channel up there, guys. So smash a like and subscribe, a lovely guy. And he's dealing with cyberbullying on YouTube. Lovely fella. And here you go, boy boy. <sighs> Whoa, fetch. And yeah, he's well, well equipped to deal with these things in life on a personal level. He's been around. Ex Maltry, he's been in the, in, in the, the wars himself. Been there, seen it, and done it. Hope you don't mind me saying this, brother. I know you've got injuries yourself. We've been shot and all the rest of it. I know that. A real nose real, as we call it. And that's just a comment on YouTube. And people look at it and go, oh, real nose real. Means F all to them. It means the world to us because we know what we're talking about when you've been shot and you've been blown up, and you've been there, and you've been stabbed. And you've had all these things in life, guys. I like to find for these clowns to talk about, and, or, or jump on the bandwagon and all that until they've been there. But trust me, at this age in life and that, we don't need dragged into other people's beefs and all that shit. I'm not interested in the nonsense that's going on on YouTube, guys, so leave it there. Lovely comment for you guy, YouTube wars there as it came out. And I saw it and it was basically saying I'm taking down anything on my channel to do with motorsport buggies. I hate seeing you getting dragged into that nonsense and all that. And I'm like, it is what it is. I patched up my beef with the lad and they go, have you seen this mate? There's no ill feel whatsoever with you and Dom. And I've said that a million times. So that's getting left where it is. I just don't understand why I was hashtagged in that last daft thing with that photo. And that lad's brought it on himself with Jambo College and everything. I get that, but that's nothing to do with me, guys. I'm not interested. Please, let's just leave that where it is. And let's move on. So, send you guys my best. Uh, so, Jock, smash the like and subscribe. Lovely guy. And as I say, I'm more experienced to deal with the YouTube cyber bullying and all the rest of it and give people a platform to jump, jump into his life. Get in there and see what the guys are saying. And you'll see those names, the names will appear for the other group chats. Lovely people. And uh, yeah, real knows real as I call it. So uh, sadly, I'm going to miss old Tommy Trotter tomorrow. And on that one, on Julie's. Uh, Don's War Museum Veterans Hub page. Legend of a lady, you know, some clown leaves a leaves a comment on there. Disgusting. The, the woman asked for a wee flyover if anybody can help her out on that one. And won't appear the cost. 
I beat that one. And we're not on a bit of Lancaster or a Spitfire and that, we're on a bit a little biplane or anything that could give a wee flyover. We some smoke coming out or something, you know. We Cessna with the free fall out on that guys. Anything would have been appreciated and I hope the hub sort of something out on that one. I really do. Here, here boy. And some guy leaves a disgusting comment up there. Um but what well, it's not as if he was royalty or something along them disgusting lines. And yeah, you're right, he wasn't a royal loyalty, a royalty. But the man's loyalty was he lied about his age. Photographs him at 15 years of age going to war, guys. Wow. Fighting for our freedom, fighting for clowns like that to put comments up. There you go, you know, Tommy Trotter, rest in peace. And the old guy, yeah, D.D. Veteran. And uh, there was a comment for a guy called John Ross. Now it's got to be the same John Ross. Uh, my platoon sergeant who took me through depot of the Parachute Regiment, 1984. There you go. And John was a surviving sergeant from Three Para on Mount Longden, 1982. The famous battle when they lost 28 on Mount Longden from the 3rd Battalion Parachute Regiment. And John had put a comment up basically saying, listen, our DD veterans are dwindling. We've got a handful left, and we should be honouring these men. And we should, We've got a handful of them left, guys. And just that comment alone, that comment alone just disgusts me. And it just shows you what we're up against in life with certain people, certain clowns. Hey, get up there, get on. Come on, it's time for you to see your mum anyway. And this is what people forget. People have got families, you know. So on that YouTube, it's great if you're in that community and you want to build a channel around that community and you want to accept all that, it's great. I'm not a podcast, guys. I just put my wee videos up like this to communicate with people like myself and self-minded. And there you go, you meet lovely people. So Jock, shout out. Humble Dryer, shout out to legends. And... Even on that, I'll say my personal, pers my personal view is God knows what's going on with them and God knows what's going on with all the videos going up there and that. I've seen a lot of other people getting dragged into things and I never thought John would go up that road, but he has. And I'm not slating for it, far from it. That's his angle. And as I say, best of luck to you, John, on that one. But uh, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I just don't want anything to do with any of that shit. That's why I took my negatives down on a certain podcaster and didn't mean to change my views in any way, shape or form, guys. Just means that I'm not prepared to get pulled into that quagmire of cesspit of shit. He says, she says, he says, she says. I hate that, guys. I hate that in life. And it's like even going to Ukraine or people killing, you know, you get all these clowns. You always get them, guys. And, uh, why would you want to go to a war zone? My, my, my personal take on that is why would I not? I'm intrigued with what's going on over there at the moment. Intrigued. And as a soldier, once you make that right or wrong choice in life, it's for you. If you've got to pull the trigger and it goes that way, because you're defending this way, then that's your choice. You've chose to do that. Right? And people can't comprehend your way of thinking, but that's the way you tend to think. If you've been motorised uh, in your mind, if you've got a multi mind, then that's your take on life. It doesn't mean it's everybody's take. No. As I say, if people are fixing cars for a living, that's what they do, because they're mechanics. If people are fixing bikes and all that, that's what they do. People are building houses, they're brickies, that's what they do. So people like me get intrigued with what's going on when it's a war zone. It's the way it is. And then we try and make it better and more heads by saying right or wrong. But it is right or wrong, isn't it, once you make your choice. You've maybe made the wrong choice, so you might be on the wrong side, right or wrong, but that's the way it is in life. Once you make your stand, you make it. And you take your side, and you're on your side, simple as. So, start to waffle on a bit there, guys. But I took a COVID test before I came out there, and that was negative. It's a good sign. I wasn't prepared to put people at risk. And even my way of thinking, my way, is leaving it to the last minute by saying I can get down the other day, I can do it. Even leave the night, I can get down there for Tommy's funeral tomorrow, I would love to be there. But 
that's just my way of thinking again, being selfish and thinking, oh, nothing wrong with you, but that would have come back positive there, so, there you go. So I've got to put it down to a bug. That was horrific, guys, and all that. It wasn't nice what I went through the weekend. Wow, blood pressure was sky high as well. God knows what brought that on. Maybe stress, worry, I don't know, but oh, my head felt like it was going to explode at some point. So I could only relate it to having pneumonia. I've had pneumonia before, and that's what I felt like in the bottom of my lungs. felt like, oh, I didn't tell you what flew in my lungs. That's what I felt like. It must just be a bug I've had. God knows. But anyway, you can feel like you've lost a little weight over the end. And after putting it all back on. So I'll just have to plod on guys and get back on top of my personal business as I say the next day or two because this has just set us right back. Boxes everywhere around the door and posted here, posted here and I'll walk carry on. But that's me waffling on again. Come on then blue boy, look I'm having a big party with these balls. Look. Come on you, you bring your ball with you. Come on. And on a, another level Tommy Trotter, rest in peace. This was the calibre of the men what went and fought for us, eh? 15 years of age. And when you see photographs of the guy with his uniform on at that early age, like a baby going away to war. Oh, many families lost great grandfathers like that in them days, guys. Probably every English family down there. And then the Scottish up here were sent battalion after battalion to their death. So when I seen that comment about the royalty, it sort of pissed me off a bit because I was like, no, because the royal family wouldn't have sent their sons like that, and we know that. That's the politics side coming out of now. Trying not to do politics or religion in my life, the day-to-day -day dealings and all, because it's disgusting. But there you go, guys. I'm going to love you and leave you in peace up with this one. OK, bye bye Anything to say? No comment as usual. Peace out. <coughs> OK, peace out. Cheers, guys. Boom.